Hey guys, welcome back track meet. Another week, another track meet, am I right? Track meet, so fun. Lots of race going on. Wow, I love track meet. This track meet, extra special. First track meet, new track. New track, real nice. Yes sir, love track meet. Goodbye. <laughs> What are you looking at? I thought you dropped What do you think, idiot? Not gonna lie, that one hurt, Gabe. Now, let's get into the 800s. This first lap, my boy AJ is leading the pack of four St. Charles East runners in this 800. AJ is still leading with one more lap to go. Come on, AJ. Here's AJ in his final lap, winning heat one of the 800. Ryan is in this heat, this heat three. There he is at the end. And here comes AJ for his post-race interview. Jaden, were you proud of me? Oh, you, 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 AJ, how do you feel about your victory? I, 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 I'm not, I don't feel proud of it. I don't feel proud of it. <laughs> to clarify, AJ wasn't happy with his victory because he won in a slower heat. Here comes St. Charles East runner, nicknamed Blue, in his second lap. And here's Ryan in his second lap as well. Here's Ryan coming in for his second to last lap, and he's picking up the pace. Here comes Blue for the final lap, and he is the winner of Heat 3 of the 800. And here's a nice finish for Ryan's first 800. For Heat 4, we have two St. Charles East runners and both sophomores. Memphis is sticking at the front of the pack and Chris is close behind. And here comes Memphis for his final sprint. Really fast time here. He got two minutes and 14 seconds. It's fastest 800 yet, but that changes in the fifth heat. Fifth heat, but also the fastest heat. We have one senior in this race. And here are the leaders on the final lap, and they ran insanely fast times. You guys want to hear a story about this shirt? This shirt is famous among the freshmen because it's the cross country breathable shirt. <laughs> Everybody makes fun of me because I wear this shirt because I don't have a dry fit, I have a breathable shirt. Now let's get into the mile races. Heat three of the mile includes me, Mitch, Gabe, Liam, and Junior Gustavo. Let me explain the alleys for non-runners. There are two alleys and the outer lane has to stay in their alley 
until the 150 mark. We had two runners leave the alley before we were supposed to, and that should result in a disqualification, but it didn't because this wasn't a big meet and they weren't harping on that. I saw plenty of actions that should have called for a disqualification, but they didn't. Someone dropped their baton and it went out of the lane. One of our 4x4 runners got pushed really hard, and the kid who pushed him should have gotten disqualified. And that's why we didn't get disqualified for that. As you can see, all five of us are still really close to each other for the second lap. After this halfway point, I get dropped because I wasn't pacing correctly. Here's first place. First place ran under five minutes. Um, then it's Mitch. He had a really nice sprint finish, and he also had a really good time of five minutes, four seconds. Then it was Gustavo, and then me, but uh, I got passed by two guys at the end. And then Gabe's behind me, and then Liam comes sprinting by right there. Two of the runners will not be named like I did for the 800. First lap and Joey's already in lead, as you can see. He's uh, one of our top 12 runners. This is the third lap and Joey has a lead ahead of that big pack right there. And there's our other two runners. He's still leading with one lap to go. I want you guys to hear that people are actually chanting Joey's name. Come on, Joey! Come on, Joey! Pace up! Push it! Push it! Joey had ran the fastest mile of the day so far. After this heat, though, Joey did not have the fastest time. This is heat five, and also the fastest heat. And one of our Top seven, yes, the magnificent seven that won state is in this race, Connor Murphy. I'll use these next few laps to explain a really cool 4x4, four four, specifically the anchor that I unfortunately did not get on film. Our anchor on the 4x4C four four team was Jack Costas, and when he came in, he had a battle to win his heat. And he did. He was in the tight race with a kid from Juliet West. And they stuck by each other for the first lap, building the suspense even more. Everybody didn't know what was going to happen. And when Jack came around for the final 100, everybody was cheering. And he kept on going straight. And <laughs> last uh, 50 meters... The Juliet kid sees that he's not going to win, and he basically just stopped sprinting. And everybody started cheering as loud as they could, as we knew we had just won the second heat. Final lap, there goes first place. He ran a really fast time. Connor Murphy got fifth overall for all the heats and for this race. Here he comes now. It was a good race for Connor. About to open my hot dog. Oh my god, it's a pickle. You want a pickle? <laughs> Jaden, take the bite. Eat the pickle. <laughs> Jaden, take the biggest bite you can. Come on, you got this, Jaden. He's eating the pickle. Uh, yes. <laughs> Do it as fast as you can, Jaden. This is a real track event. Oh, uh, yes. It was too hard. If the mini bar this would have been 89 cents. <laughs> the pickle would have been Jaden the heart <laughs> Can't include that, Gabe. No. <laughs> that concludes the Hanukkah 
indoor boys track meet. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Breathable shirt. Next meet ain't till March.